Also says McLean's Irish Pub. Does that answer your question, Lucy? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, we're Irish. Can't get much more Irish. Kevin is Irish and Scottish, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit of English stuck in there. <clears throat> Top of the morning to you over there, Mr. Bones. Are you ready to get your green beer on today? Did that sound Irish at all? <laughs> okay, well, it's time for me to be brutally honest. Uh-oh. I am mostly Polish. That probably explains a lot to most of you. <laughs> but I have... My dad is what they call a Heinz 57. He's got a little bit of everything in him, including Irish. So, yes, I am Irish! So you can't pinch me. I have green on! Say good morning. Oh, I forgot. Good morning, everybody. Have a happy and safe St. Patrick's Day. Hello, baby. Hey. So I got the nibbling with the neighbors dish going, which of course is traditional Irish dinner, corned beef and cabbage. Cool. Yeah. And uh, just got to clean up the dining room and set the table and run the vacuum and then we're good to go. Uh. You okay? Dying. No dying. I'm dying. Food's not done yet. Not even gonna get my corned beef cabbage. Cause I'm dying. Uh -huh. So Boomer's been himself a little bit more. He's been playing with that little green ball for several, uh, I'm gonna say about an hour now this morning. And he finally tuckered himself out and just fell asleep right there with the ball in front of him. But he's got more energy today and uh, yeah, he's acting more like himself. Maybe it was just, you know, a little stomach bug or something. I got this really strange thing going on, and I don't understand um, what it is. And I don't know if it has anything to do with my diabetes or what. For some reason, I am craving tomato soup like crazy. And I'm getting just the regular no-name brand, store-name brand, condensed cans of tomato soup and adding non-fat milk to it. And I'm having at least one or two bowls every day. And I don't understand that. If, if that has anything to do with my diabetes, I mean, I've always loved tomato soup, but I never wanted it like all the time like I do now and for a while I was having tomato soup, French onion, progresso with different types of meat and veggies and stuff and now it's it was just French onion and then tomato and now it's just strictly tomato. I want tomato soup like all the time and I don't understand it. So if it has anything to do with diabetes um, let me know. And I don't even know if it's good for my diabetes, but I'm eating it, so. <laughs> so Mom came over. Hi. She's going to have corned beef and cabbage with us. Absolutely. Yeah. And she's wearing the St. Patty's Day headband it? with the, the hat off. and the feather. <laughs> so happy St. Patty's Day! Happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs> and you got your green on so you don't get pinched. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to be informal tonight 
It's just Kevin, myself, and my mother-in-law, and we're going to eat on TV trays in the living room while watching another leprechaun movie. Another leprechaun movie in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Great green bread. Mom just had some corned beef. How is it, Mom? Good. Okay, you gotta taste everything else. Kev? Good. Here comes cabbage for Mom. Good. Tastes like cabbage. <laughs> Happy St. Patty's Day! And what are you drinking? I'm drinking Bailey's and Starbucks, and I put green food coloring in it, so it's all green. Yeah. For McLean's Pub, St. Patty's Day. <laughs> Movie man. Hopefully, it turns my mouth green too. And other stuff. <laughs> I stole a kitty cat, and she's not happy. Kitty cat, kitty cat. It's Fang. Don't call her that. Look say, how pretty say she hi is. To the camera, Fang. Don't call her that. I can't call her what I call her because <laughs> we're on camera. Yes, because you have to put money in the jar. Oh, she won't stay while we're... I can't hold her either because I got to have my book. That's really surprising. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Jump! Oh, there you go. Hello, everybody! Bah. Bah? You sound like... You sound like Mojo. <laughs> it's time for... Neighborhood Community... Credit or no, no, wait, stop the presses. So, yes, <laughs> it's time for neighborhood community shout outs. God, I thought we were going to get through this quick. <laughs> almost, almost got it. <laughs> um, Katie Caroline wanted us to say something. Do you remember what it was? She said something. I don't remember what it was. Okay, well. Well, we'll get back to it. Greg Myers is Team Val. Team Val rules. Yes. Tammy Alexander. She was late on telling us what her TV series were that she watches, and one of those, one of her favorites, is Supernatural, and that's one of our favorites. And we totally, completely forgot to mention that. But we love that show. We still watch it from the first season on. We have most of it yeah, on we, DVDs, yeah, but most, yeah, yeah, but since, you know, we get Netflix and all that now, why buy them? Remember I told you about Elijah and how funny it was yeah. um, with what he said about Boomer? What did he say about Boomer? <laughs> Mom's blog 80 has a main coon, just like Boomer. Boomer. And, and when he was, t when, uh, Melody was telling Elijah that we had a Maine Coon and that his name was Boomer. Elijah's like, that's because Boomer is an explosion of fur. <laughs> I can agree with that. <laughs> so, yes, Elijah, he is an explosion of fur. And it gets everywhere. <laughs> and Daily Rambles can't believe that it's taking a week to get Boomer into the vet. Well, it's not a regular vet. It's an eye doctor for animals. So, okay. It's taking a little bit specialist. longer to get him into a specialist. But, I can't believe there's that many animals that need eyeglasses. No, oh, man. Hey, wait a minute. I kind of remember what Katie... No. No? No. I don't get it. Alright. Oh. And then I asked about... My question yesterday was, what was your best... Halloween costume and what was your worst? And we had some pretty good ones. Um, Tanya Longley was working in a produce um, store at the time and she dressed up as the princess of produce. Um, Mom's Vlog 80, <laughs> her best costume was Little Red Riding Hood. And if any of you saw the photo shoot that they just did where she was dressed all in black and holding the red, delicious red apple, yeah. I can see she would be good at that. Um, the YouTube guy, 1985, <laughs> Bigfoot. 
Yeah, we saw that. <laughs> That's funny. But I'm telling you... Put some acting in your hair and they make that all work out. <laughs> I'm telling you, Terry Johnson, what did you say? She had hers backwards. Her worst is when she dressed up as a hooker. <laughs> yeah, I said, that was the worst. I said, that's probably was the best. That's the one everybody's going to remember. <laughs> exactly. Everybody kept thinking about, you know, hey. It's a costume. Yeah, I'm not really one. It's a costume. So, um... Did you think of anything about Katie? I can't remember what Katie wanted. I don't remember. We gave her a shout out yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. I, I, I just, I can't remember. Okay, so my question for tonight is, if you could only have one source of entertainment, one, would you have radio, TV, any sort of electronic, computer, iPod, iPad, any sort of electronic, one. Xbox, any of it, okay? Or book, slash newspaper, magazine, anything like that. If you could only have one source of entertainment, what would you choose? Oh, and we didn't answer ours. What was our best and worst Halloween costumes? Do you remember yet what Katie wanted? I, I gotta write these things down more. I, I just, I, I know there was something she kept telling me for like a month. She kept saying, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. And I can't remember what it was. So, um, okay, but what was our best and worst costumes, do you think? Well, I liked my, my Dracula costume the best. That's the one I was going to pick, our vampires. I think our, we did awesome with our vampire costumes. Um, we had the fake, fake Fake, 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 fake fangs also. And we put them in with polydent, so they stayed in pretty good. And the worst, I think, was our Adam and Eve outfit. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, too. I, had, I was in spandex. <laughs> it was terrible. I had a leaf. You know. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I uh, was in something very tight, and, and I'm kind of, you know, chunky for that. So, yeah, I think that was our, our best and our worst. I certainly so. didn't look good in Spanish. Right? <laughs> okay. okay. It is time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Excuse me, Boomer. <laughs> Boomer's on his book. Get your explosion of fur off his book. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Okay, so uh, yesterday's question was... Of the seven um, Leprechaun movies from the Leprechaun franchise, this, I'm, I, uh, I think that kind of confused some people. There are other movies that are Leprechauns, but not in the Leprechaun franchise. Uh, which one actually occurs on um, St. Patrick's Day? And that would be the second one. Uh, so, Leprechaun 2. So, the people who got that were... The uh, first was YouTube Guy 1985. Uh, second one was uh, Terry Johnson, and third was Greg Myers. Um, Tanya Longley, um, Leprechaun's Revenge it is a made-for-sci-fi television movie, which we watched today. And Bambi S said um, um, uh, Leprechaun in the Hood 2, and that's not right either. So. Tonight's question, I, I was desperately was trying to stay with the uh, for, uh, St. Patrick's Day theme. Uh, the Leprechaun movies are pretty much the only thing they, that was made for this. They're, um, so the only thing I can think of is the company that made Leprechaun. Uh, Leprechaun was its very first movie that it put out, theatrically. And Leprechaun in the Hood 2000 was its very last movie before it went to fuck. What company was it? There you go. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo. Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors. What are you doing? Nothing. 
dear. P I N. <laughs> Make sure to go by and check out the neighborhood zoo, paranormal investigations with the neighbors, P I N, Megan's Arts and Crafts, Megan's Society 6 store, and. Is that it? I remember! What? Happy birthday, Katie Caroline! Thought we were gonna forget you, didn't you? <laughs> Told us enough times. We will catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye!